Hi, good evening, everyone. My name is Samuel Thompson. I'm just uh, I'm just going to give people a couple more minutes to to come in, um, but I'm ready to start and uh, and I'll get started within uh, the next minute or two. Um, just give everyone a little bit more time to show up. Uh, just so you're aware, and I'll, I'll say this again when we get started properly, but this meeting or this webinar is being recorded. Um, and you will have been asked uh, if that's okay when you entered. We also have live transcripts on or, or closed captioning on, so you, you may have to turn that on yourself if you require it, but it is there for you to use um, if, if you so need. Um, so like I say, we're just going to wait a couple more minutes um, before, before getting into this, um, but it's, it's great that you're able to join me and, uh, and I'll get started very shortly. Okay, good evening everyone. My name is Samuel Thompson. I am the Program Manager for UK Scholars here at the US-UK Fulbright Commission, which means I'm responsible for all of our programs for academics and professionals based in the UK looking to undertake three to 12 months worth of research and teaching activities in the US. And one of the programs that I'm responsible for is the Fulbright Distinguished Awards in Teaching for International Teachers, which is what I am here to talk to all of you about this evening. It's, it's really great to be here and to meet you all. Uh, just before we get started, I wanted to say a couple of words on housekeeping. So the, uh, the, the webinar tonight is being recorded. This means two things. This means if there's anything you're interested in, you will be able to come back to it at a later date. So, so anything you feel like you miss or you just want to go over again, it's, uh, it's going to be there. We should be uploading it to YouTube within a week or two. So you should be able to access this pretty soon. Uh, but also we would encourage you to, to share it with your colleagues or other people you know who may be interested. So please do, uh, do remember that because it is being recorded. Uh, we are also asking uh, that you uh, ask questions throughout. So we have the Q&A box open via Zoom. You can use this to ask questions at any time and, uh, and we will try and get to questions. So, so if there is a moment where you feel like a question will be relevant, do not hesitate to ask it at that time. Otherwise, there will be a time at the end to ask any questions and my contact details will be in the presentation if you have questions that perhaps come to you after we're done with the event. So uh, one more thing, I mentioned it in the, in the beginning, but if you, if you do need, there are closed captions available uh, should, should you need them, but you may need to turn them on. Uh, so so do, do make sure to do that if you require them. So, uh, what is this? Um, so the Fulbright Distinguished Awards in Teaching for International Teachers, or the DAI program, is an annual program that is part of Fulbright's global offering for teachers. So this program is offered in a number of countries across around the world, with the UK being one of them. And those countries will recruit teachers from their nations to send to the US to spend a semester at a university in the US. So in the UK, we will be recruiting two teachers who, uh, who teach in the UK or um, when we get to, to making the application, there's a couple of other uh, kinds of eligibility, but, but primarily teachers in primary or secondary schools um, to spend a semester in the US. And teachers will spend that semester in the US uh, taking classes at a university, meeting teachers from across the world, uh, going into local schools and, and both observing local schools and, and perhaps doing a little bit of teaching themselves at those schools, undertaking a personal or collaborative research project. And it's also a great opportunity to, to have some professional development that, that's perhaps unlike a, a lot of other professional development opportunities you'll have um, since you, it will be international and, and amongst an international community of teachers. Um, it's a it's an opportunity to improve education in your local community, both by learning uh, new approaches to pedagogy and, and other aspects of education that you'll bring back to your own classroom, but also you'll be able to bring back that learning to your school community 
Uh, so you'll be able to share it with the other teachers that you work with, and perhaps even wider within the communities locally to your school. And finally, it's designed to improve the mutual understanding and, and cultural curiosity and ambassadorialship between the US and the UK. Um, but obviously, because it it's part of this greater international program, and you will meet teachers from all around the world, it's not just about the, the US and UK aspect, which we as Fulbright are interested in, but you'll also be getting that opportunity to meet people from, from a great number of countries and increase your sort of understanding of, of different people and their and their cultures, which is which is a really great opportunity and something that our alums have brought up as one of the things that they've appreciated most about this program. I wanted to talk a little bit about the different organizations involved. So we have the Bureau of Educational and Cultural Affairs, uh, often called ECA, who are part of the US State Department. Their role really in all of this is, is overseeing the program and its implementation globally. Um, they're often who, who we report to and they're responsible for not just this program, but uh, pretty much all of what various Fulbright commissions around the world do. And they collaborate with IREX, with US embassies and Fulbright commissions to recruit teachers and to run the program globally. We have IREX who are our partners in the US. Um, so a lot of what we do in the UK, IREX will do on the US side and we, we work most closely with them in this program. Uh, so they, they collaborate with us and the ECA. Their, part of their job is that they support participants during the program. So whilst we will do a lot of the support on the UK end of things, IREX will be there for teachers once they're in the US, and they conduct a lot of the US-based aspects of programming, as well as the monitoring and evaluation, and they'll also run some of the alumni activity that you'll be involved in. And then a little bit about us, the US-UK Fulbright Commission. So we, uh, I wanted to, to first start off with both our, our vision and our mission. Um, so, so our vision as, a, as an organization is a world where there are no obstacles to learning, understanding and collaboration. And this program really speaks to all of those things because we're trying to create, a lot of our programs, for instance, um, allow for an individual to go to the US and, um, and engage in learning. And that's, that's really important, the kind of individual work that our scholars and postgraduate students do. And, and often they'll have uh, wide impacts based on the project they're doing. But with this uh, Distinguished Teachers Award, that kind of impact has spread a lot wider because it's not just about what you as a participant in this program will learn, but it's also what your students will get out of this. So, so really, this is, a, this is a great program for removing those barriers to learning. And then uh, there's understanding and collaboration will come from the work you do with both your uh, the teachers and the people you're learning from in the US, but also uh, those teachers from around the world. Um, so this, this program is really encapsulated in our vision. And our mission is that we advance knowledge, promote civic engagement, and develop compassionate leaders through educational exchange between the peoples of the US and the UK. And again, I think that's really at the heart of what this program is about. We, as a as has been perhaps a, a little obvious from the other two, we work closely with IREX and the ECA on this program. But then what do we do? in that collaboration. So it's our role really to manage recruitment. Um, so we'll be the ones who are reading your application, we'll be the ones that interview you, and, uh, and we'll be the ones that then make nominations based on those applications and those interviews. We also prepare participants for departures. So you'll be working with, with the program manager on uh, documents needed to get the visa for the time spent in the US. And then it will be the program manager at the US UK Fulbright Commission that runs the pre departure orientation um, so that you'll be prepared in terms of what's expected for you from you in the US, but also uh, you'll be able to hear from alums directly and things like that. So it's it's our job to make sure that you're ready to, to go and, and undertake the program in the US. We're also the primary point of contact in the UK. So as I said, IREX will do a lot of the support once you're a US side, but it's it's us at the Fulbright Commission that are the point of contact all the time you're in the UK. And also the point of contact and the run up to the program. So during this application period, during the recruitment, uh, you should get in touch with us if you are interested in this program. So you can, you can get in touch with me directly. I'm the program manager responsible for this program. I've put my email address there. You'll also be able to get in touch via the website. Um, so as I said, any questions that come up uh, outside of this, be sure to email me here. 
Otherwise, a lot of information is on our website, so, uh, which is fullbright.org.uk. So do be sure to check that out. So what, what does the program involve once, uh, once you're recruiting and why should be, you be excited about it? So uh, teachers who are selected will go to a university in the US, which is known for its educational department. It's known for its role in training teachers. And whilst there, you will be able to uh, take part in seminars and coursework uh, on a wide range of topics relating to teaching and, uh, and pedagogy, uh, classroom management, uh, various other aspects that are involved in, um, in modern schools. Uh, and then you'll have your inquiry projects. This is a um, research project that you will uh, propose as part of your application. And you've got time to, to change it slightly between here and then. Um, no plan uh, remains intact once you actually get started on it, but you'll propose this project in your application and then you will take it to the US and you'll actually be able to work on it. And you'll have some level of supervision to develop it further. And then you'll be able to take this research that is, is perhaps something that you're curious about in your everyday teaching, or maybe a larger project that you've not necessarily had time to work on um, but but that you think will have a really great impact either on your school or education more widely. You'll have field experience in US schools. Um, so you will actually uh, be able to observe and work, or not work, sorry, observe and work with teachers in US schools, um, both both locally and uh, and I've I've heard from teachers certainly who have come to the UK to this program that uh, sometimes they've been a little bit further afield than the university that they're based at. But it's a, it's a great opportunity to get out into communities in the US and do that civic engagement piece that we talk about a lot at Fulbright. Um, you'll learn a lot about exchange and be involved in an exchange that's got a lot of um, experience to it. So we're the US UK Fulbright Commission have been responsible for educational programs between the US and the UK for almost 70 years. IREX have been running this teacher program for a long, long time. This is the fourth year that the UK has been involved in it. Uh, but I know from my colleagues at IREX that we're, uh, we're a more recent addition to this program. So there's a lot of, a lot of years of experience in making sure that this uh, exchange is as uh, well run as it can be. And then you'll be uh, able to take part in civic and cultural activities, um, so things relating to US culture and that, that engagement piece that we talked about before. Um, I've got uh, some words for an alum that we'll get to later in this, and, and uh, the, the alum has gone into a little bit of what they did outside of their time in the classroom, um, but it certainly sounds like a very exciting experience from what I've heard from our alumni. Uh, among the, um, the, the, the work, I suppose, and the, the learning, there's other program benefits to this program. Uh, so if, you are, uh, if you're worried about the visa side of things, we and IREX will support you in the J-1 visa process. So we will collect your paperwork. We will make this process as manageable as possible for you. We will do a lot of the, um, the paperwork processing. IREX uh, takes responsibility for that. And then um, you will have, uh, you will then go to the UK, the US Embassy in the UK to have your interview in the summer before you leave. Uh, so the program typically takes place in August to December, about four and a half months. Um, and so in the June, July before going, you will go to the embassy for, a, for an appointment and we'll, uh, a member of staff from the UK Fulbright Commission will meet you beforehand at the commission offices um, to, to give you any last documentation you need. So there's a lot of support around the visa process. Pre-departure orientation will also be held and that'll be run by the US UK Fulbright Commission. We'll go through lots of things like um, traveling to the US, expectations uh, while there, a little bit about the host campus. Um, so that's something you'll find out in the run up to, um, to the program itself. Uh, we'll hear from alums more directly. You'll be able to ask them about their experience and, and we'll go over a lot of sort of reflection as well. And, and you'll get to meet the other teacher on the program with you. Uh, there will be round trip airfare to your location within in the US and back. Um, and this will be paid for by the program. 
You'll also be invited to a welcome or end of program workshop in Washington, D.C. So you'll get to see a little bit more of the U.S. than just the, uh, the area that you're located in. The program fees, the program will be paid directly to the host institution, so you won't have to worry about that. You'll also be provided, provided with housing. Now, this will be shared with other participants, um, so those teachers from around the world who will be on the program with you. And often this is actually one of the highlights for, for our teachers is uh, the people they meet in the program. You also have meals provided for you too. Uh, transportation to local schools will be provided if it is necessary. And you also have somewhat of a daily allowance for any um, uh, incidentals during the university academic programming. Um, you'll have a professional development allowance for training and then uh, some baggage allowance for the help for helping with the travel. Uh, there's a, a small alumni grant as well for, um, for helping you carry out projects once you've returned. There's some accident and sickness medical coverage provided and a small technology or dependent allowance, depending on the location that you'll be in. So that isn't guaranteed, but that is uh, part of it for, for some teachers, depending on where they go. I also um, would like to add an extra one of this. So this is the list that we have from IREX for program benefits, but there's an additional one for applicants from the UK. Uh, applicants from the UK who are successful in being recruited for the program uh, will have the school that they are from will be able to request or have a reimbursement of up to £15,000 to pay for the salary of a cover teacher whilst they continue to pay the salary of the teacher who was recruited for the program. So if you're recruited for the program, your school should be able to pay your salary while you are in the US because the US UK Fulbright Commission will uh, will grant will reimburse the school fifteen thousand pounds or up to fifteen thousand pounds to cover the cost of a of a cover teacher during the time that you're away in the US. Uh, so if if all of these benefits and all of the um, uh, action of the program sound interesting to you, you might be wondering how to apply. Uh, so I want to take you over to our website now. So I'm just going to stop sharing so I can share a different screen. And so we're going to go over to our website and look at our how to apply pages. Um, so I'm going to share this page. Uh, so here, if you go to uh, fulbright.org.uk and you'll go to going to the USA, academic and professional, and then distinguished awards in teaching. Uh, so this will have a lot of the information that we're going over today as well. Uh, so in case you wanted to look at that list again of, of things that's provided um, or know who to get in touch with, you can find that here. There's several eligibility. So if you're interested in this program or someone you know might be interested in this program, they want it to be a full-time primary or secondary teacher including classroom teachers or secondary educator, sorry, which includes classroom teachers, guidance counselors, curriculum specialists, library and media specialists, special education coordinators, administrators, or others who spend at least half of their time interacting with students. And that's the really key bit here is at least half of your time in your job in a primary or secondary school needs to be spent interacting with students. You must have five years of full-time teaching experience or working with students in another capacity on, on record. So if you're brand new to teaching, maybe wait a couple of years, but, but if you've got that five years, this might be the perfect time to be looking at this as a, a professional training or professional development opportunity. You should have a proven track record of professional development activities and leadership. So that investment in continuously working on yourself and your craft as a teacher. You need to be a, a resident or a citizen of the UK um, to be able to apply. And you'll need to meet any other requirements that are indicated in the application form itself. Um, so if you, if you match that eligibility requirement, then you might be interested in applying. And we have a page that's, that's how to apply. So you can find that here. So uh, the main thing to, to note about this page, and uh, we'll go over some of these lists there, but we have a link to a PDF that is the application guideline. So you will want to come on this page and you want to click that. Uh, this will go through a whole bunch of things uh, related to the application, including, but not limited to where to find the application, but it will guide you through making use of the, the application platform, uh, privacy policy, 
and then working through the application form and submitting everything you need. Uh, the application form will, will ask about your educational background, your um, background in teaching, your inquiry project, a little bit about other training and other opportunities that you had abroad. You need to fill all of that out. There's also a couple of other things you will need to fill out that aren't directly on the form. So you'll need to fill out a leave form, uh, which you can download from our website. You also need to fill out an institutional support and reference form. Again, you can download that from our website. And it's important that you get the support from your school and a reference from them. You also need to come and fill out a supplemental form. Um, and there's a link to that on our website. This isn't part of the application form from IREX. This is a US-UK Fulbright Commission form. So make sure you click on this. It's, it's necessary for you to fill out an, a crucial part of the application. It's not linked to the application form from IREX, so you will need to set up another login here. Your password from the IREX form will not work, so you'll need to input your email and then uh, request a new password. So when we look at applications, we are obviously looking at this as a merit-based competition. Um, but it's not just uh, it's not just the merit that you provided in essentially the CV on the application. We're looking for applications from well-rounded applicants who show strong proposals or research skills, have those ambassadorial skills and intercultural sensitivities. Because remember, this isn't just about the teaching; it's it's about the US UK mutual understanding and also those uh, those other teachers that you will be meeting throughout the throughout the program. So demonstrating those ambassadorial skills or any intercultural sensitivity it will be really important. Uh, a genuine desire to learn about the USA and share aspects of British culture and that uh, we're looking for that excitement um, that you have around this program. Any extracurricular activities that you're involved with, community involvement, civic engagement, those are really important factors, leadership potential, and plans to further the Fulbright mission and give back to the UK upon returning. Um, so that was something we talked about earlier, that Fulbright mission. Um, but it's not just giving back to the to the UK when you return. Uh, whilst the program expects that you have five years in teaching as an eligibility requirement, it also is looking for teachers who are going to continue on in education as a career and continue to give back to their schools and their communities and, and really develop the, the sector and the students they work with. And then again, there's a little bit more about what you'll what you'll get from your time on the course. Um, so really recommend going through this page and especially that PDF document if you are interested on the, in applying. And we've got a short timeline as well. So a reminder that uh, the deadline is the 2nd of May 2022. So you've got about a month left to apply if you are interested. And I assure you that is plenty of time to submit a strong and competitive application. Um, there is the, the Easter holidays coming up, which might be a great time to sit down and work on this. Uh, then in the week commencing 30th of May, shortlisted candidates will be interviewed and you'll be provided um, with notification of interview in advance of the 30th of May. Then in the spring and summer of 2023, so note that we've moved on a whole year, uh, there will be a pre-departure orientation. And then in August 2023, you will depart for the US. So I'm going to return to sharing our uh, return back to our PowerPoint. Great. Uh, so that's that's how to apply. And then uh, I reached out to one of our recent alums who went to the University of, who went to Arizona State University um, last year, so August, they set out August 2021, they returned December 2021, uh, and they said they had an absolutely wonderful experience. They went to Arizona State University, which they said was a great university. They felt like they were just surrounded by a culture of innovation and collaboration, and the campus was, was absolutely lovely. The thing that they really appreciated about the program was that they had time to devote to themselves to a project not normally possible for them when they're teaching full-time. So that inquiry project, um, the research that they proposed in their application ended up being one of the things they really appreciated being able to do because it just, it was one of those things that had been 
always on the back burner, a, a project they'd had this idea for, and now they were able to, to spend that time really working on themselves and on this project. And, and it made all of the difference. They absolutely loved meeting and living with teachers from across the world. And they've come home back to the UK with new friendships, both with the Americans that they met through the work they did, but also these teachers from, from a variety of other countries. And these friendships and the, the bonds they formed have renewed their passion for education and for social change through work in the classroom. And then they uh, wanted to talk a little bit about some of the cultural trips that they took. So they went to San Francisco, Monument Valley, Zion National Park, and the Grand Canyon. Uh, so all of those somewhat close to Arizona State University. Um, so it will depend on where you're based, where you can go to. But some of those areas that we really sort of associate as iconic images of the US say so lots of opportunity um, on this program. And, and if you are interested, I do really encourage you to apply. Uh, so thank you for taking the time today to, to attend our webinar and learn a little bit more about the program. Um, didn't receive any questions during the presentation itself. If you do have any questions, do not hesitate to ask them here. Um, but as I said before, if nothing occurs to you right now, please do uh, find our website and then get in touch through our through our website or through the email address that I shared earlier in the in the presentation. Thank you so much. Ah, oh, great. We've got a question come through on the Q&A. Uh, will both the UK participants be at the same university or at different ones? So really great question. So uh, we've had two cohorts of teacher um, of teachers depart from the UK for the US since the program has been running. So as I said, we've, we're, we're entering our fourth year. This is our fourth year of recruitment. Um, so our third group of teachers haven't yet departed for the US, but our, our first two, both of those teachers um, on each year went to the same university. It was different universities each year, um, but the the two teachers from the UK were kept together uh, for the program. I think it's it's something that IREX sees as really important is making sure that you know at least someone while you're out there. Um, so they'll try and keep uh, both of the UK participants together. And it means that you'll have someone to share those experiences with once you come back because no one else at the school that you're at will have had the same experience as you so sometimes you'll you'll want to have that community of, of alums that um that have have those experiences so knowing someone that was at the same place is, is often really beneficial from that as well point of view as well so whilst whilst i don't think it's something that irex guarantees i think it is something they like to do so the pattern so far has been yes they've kept to the same university but it's not necessarily a guarantee about the program Do I have any, so we have another question, which is, uh, do you have any examples of inquiry projects uh, previous participants have undertaken? Um, so I, I won't go into uh, strict detail about the, about the projects because um, that's, that's work that uh, alums have done and that uh, I've not necessarily got permission to share their, their detailed work, um, but, if you if you're successfully recruited and attend our um, pre departure, I'm sure alums will be happy to talk about their work there. Um, but in terms of sort of topics that they've covered, so uh, we worked with a history teacher who explored, um, who who wrote a project uh, that was looking at um, history through the lens of a figure who had been. Uh, who had an immigrant experience in both the US and the UK and looked at ideas such as anti-racism and, um, and union politics through this figure. And then uh, we had another teacher who works in media studies and looked at a, uh, and, and worked on an inquiry project on information and misinformation, fake news, that kind of thing, and um, encouraging students to engage with creation of new media um, to talk about perceptions of, of misinformation. So thank you for the questions. Um, as I, as I said, uh, throughout the presentation, if there's anything that occurs to you later, please do get in touch. We have 
both my email address and the Fulbright program's email address. You'll be able to find anything you need on the website, hopefully, as well. Thank you again for taking the time to attend this evening. And uh, I, I hope you're, you're interested and want to apply for the program. And, and good luck with your applications.